Good morning, Pastor Brad here. As you can tell in my garden, I just picked a bunch of tomatoes. People have asked me, do you really have tomatoes? We don't ever see them. Well, yes, I do. And I just picked a dozen and there's still a bunch hiding in here that we'll have to come back and crop. This is uh, kind of back behind everything in my yard. Belongs to my neighbor, we share. He gets to pick the ones he wants and uh, he lets me use a couple of beds in his area so that I can, uh, can increase my space. So those are my tomato plants on this side, along with some squashes and some other things. I wanna show you a couple things. So as I walk through the gate, you'll notice this umbrella. One of the things that I learned watching YouTube videos about gardening was in the heat of the summer, when you have plants that are maybe struggling a little bit, you can take an old umbrella and just put it up. And I just put it up and lean it and it gets sun in the morning, but then in the afternoon as it gets hot, it gets shade and it's really good. See the rest of my plants, lots of spices and cilantro is going crazy. My zucchini plant is taking over and then here's another bed of tomatoes again going really well. But I'm not really here to show you my tomatoes. I'm here to show you my grapes because there's a lesson in this. These are my grapes and you're saying, what the heck is that? Well, it's amazing what you're going to learn on YouTube. You can see all my grape bundles. My bunches of grapes hanging up there, doing really well. Uh, but the problem is the birds get them as they start to sweeten and ripen, the birds come. And so you're always trying to figure out how do I keep the birds from eating? And I wanna talk about this little technique here, but I wanna switch the phone around. So I'll be back in a second. So the truth is the grapes are probably prettier than I am, but it's easier to talk to you if I'm even hiding in the in the sunlight is underneath this arbor. Um, I was watching YouTube and and I, I learned this little trick. If you buy these kind of party game bags that are mostly see-through, you can uh, wrap them around each bunch of grapes and the birds can't get to them. So they grow inside these bags. And so a couple of days ago, I came out and started putting these bags up. I haven't got them all done, but, uh, but the hope is that it protects the grapes uh, and yet allows them to grow while, while they're still maturing. And uh, we'll see, I've never done this before, but I'm kind of excited about it. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's kind of fun. And you can just see all the different bundles that are up there. Uh, they're gonna be grapes for jams and jellies and uh, our table, I'm excited. What I really wanna talk about is uh, the church though. Uh, we're trying our best to protect the church. Just like these little bags, we're trying to figure out what are the best ways we can keep you safe when you come back to worship. Um, that's not the most important thing, by the way. The most important thing is that wherever you are, you're growing. If I didn't cover these bags, the grapes would still, if I didn't cover them with bags, the grapes would still grow. So I want you to be growing. I want you, when you come back to church, whenever that is, I want you to have been growing. I hope you're using this season to stretch yourself, to pray more, to be in the word, to focus more on the things that are essential. I hope you, you use this pause button of COVID to kind of reevaluate how are you living your life and how can I focus more on God? That's really my hope and my dream because scripture teaches us that it won't always go easy. It won't always be smooth and so we have to be able to have a biblical christian faith that is deep and well rooted for droughts as well as for good seasons for times when we're isolated even when we're coming back together our hope is that we'll be back together uh, early or or mid-september you might say why so long what one of the reasons is we have uh, purchased a filtration system that goes up on the rooftop of all of the units that are our HVAC air exchange units that do the heating and cooling. And it filters and kills viruses. It's the kind of system that hospitals and clinics and uh, big, big companies use when they need a sterile environment. And it will kill 99% of the COVID virus, we believe, and, and all of the viruses, all of their cold stuff either by uh, attaching to them and killing them or by helping filter them out. It eliminates uh, pathogens in the air. It's a, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's not inexpensive, but it should be in in the next few weeks. And that will allow us to move forward and provide the safest 
environment for people to come back. We'll be gathering back together in small numbers, 175 max, and we'll try to figure out how that all, all that all looks. But when you come, I want you to know that every room of our church will be filtered by this uh, ionization system. And that's not just for us, that's so that we can reach out to our neighbors, so we can say to, to people who want to use our rooms, we really believe this is, this is a safe place. It's as safe as we can make it. So we take care of our employees who have to work here all the time or our preschool. We want to say to the parents, we have a system in place that's filtering the air as good as is possible to filter. And uh, we're doing that so that we keep every single person as safe as possible. Uh, second of all, as I've mentioned before, we're redoing our video and our sound system. The, the sound booth is torn apart and been built to twice the size, and we got a whole bunch of equipment going in. We have new cameras coming. Uh, some of you have complained about the Oompa Loompa look that were a little orange on some of the videos. I, I kind of like orange, but um, it's kind of a Bronco-esque thing, maybe. I don't know. But... Uh, but we're gonna put cameras in that are able to do a better job of videotaping the services. And that will allow us to do a service and just send it out uh, and to do those simultaneously. Right now, we either have to choose. We either do an online service or we do an in-person service. Uh, when we're done in a few weeks with all of the changes, we'll be able to send out a really quality production um, not not a television show, but a really quality production of what we're doing in the service and uh, and also be able to do something live at the same time. And that's really what we're hoping for. And uh, it's a big project. There's a lot going on, um, but but we're not being still. We're trying to do the best we can to wrap around our body and to help you grow. Now, some of you are impatient. Some of you are wondering, well, should we ever come back? Well, just know that we'll have an online uh, version of the church service into the into the distant future because that's obviously something that we can gain uh, a way of ministering to people. But we're looking forward to, I'm looking forward to being back together, even in a socially distanced kind of way. Uh, two other things I want to mention. One, we're about to send out a survey just checking on you, just seeing what you think, and just seeing about how we best minister to you when we re-engage. It'll take two or three minutes. It's just kind of a check the box kind of a thing. It's confidential. Um, by the way, people have also asked me, what about this registration? Who are you sending that to? We don't say that to anybody. If there's a major outbreak, we have to be able to uh, uh, connect with people, but, but we don't send anybody's data to anybody. It's all for our inside you. So the survey is like that. I hope you'll uh, fill it out and help us uh, kind of know what's going on um, in your life so we can best minister to you. And then the second one is uh, this fall, we have a lot of ministry starting back up in, in a little different fashion and we'll continue to communicate. But one of those is that we're going we're gonna to kick off small groups again. We think this is a wonderful time to gather together, might I say, in bunches like grapes might just take a smaller group and say, let's meet in houses. And some of those will be doing online gatherings and some of those will be doing in-home gatherings. Whatever you prefer, that kind of information uh, will be on that survey too. We wanna help you connect and it's a perfect time, don't you think? To meet your neighbors and to learn about the people who live around you who, uh, who go to Cherry Creek and, and to be able to connect with them and maybe have two or three over uh, on your patio. This is what we're hoping for. How do we increase the connection so it's not all just on Sunday? Because honestly, even when we come back on Sunday, it won't look like it used to look. The sanctuary won't be full in the services. The choir loft won't be full. There will not be donuts and coffee right away. And so we're just trying to figure what are other ways we can help you connect to your brothers and sisters in Christ. That's really our heart. I hope you are having a rich and wonderful time. I hope you as families are, are growing together. I hope you as parents are being the priesthood of all believers to your kids and you're helping them grow. I hope you as grandparents are, uh, are taking care of your grandkids by phone as best you can or, or sending notes to your friends or trying to connect. All of those things are part of being Christians. And we kind of live in this motley 
place, half sun, half shadow right now. And I think that's the way it's gonna be for several months. So let's try to do the best we can, adapt as best we can, but never forget that Christians should be able to worship God with their heart, mind, soul, and strength wherever they are, whether they're gathered together at a church, whether they're sitting in a home, or whether they're all by themselves in their home or their car or their office. The Lord is present. Where can I go from your spirit? David writes, nowhere. You are with me. God is with you, and we can't wait to see you again. God bless you.